I have received several inquiries, several DM and several messages and calls. Uh, people trying to find out what the freehold title means, especially as they are looking at investing in the Equa region because of the high uh, influx of many developing companies in that area. So I decided to make a comprehensive video to explain what the freehold title is and if it is safe to buy into a freehold title. In this video, I'm going to be explaining all that it means. You are going to have full understanding of what a freehold title is. All right, so we are all going to go pro, all right? So after watching this video, you are going to go pro. You are going to be a, like a real estate professional here in Lekki, Lagos. And in case if you are coming across this channel for the very first time, please go ahead and subscribe because this is where we discuss all our content that relate to real estate. Uh, we've been talking about uh, excision, C of O's. We've been discussing the Bejuleki, Ikoi, and Ekpe Axis. And uh, we'll be talking about short-led agricultural lands, you know, and different uh, real estate sectors that you really need to understand, especially if you are looking at investing in the Lagos real estate market. This is Benjamin Ali, your number one real estate consultant currently in the Lekki Axis. And we have been helping a lot of Nigerians here in Nigeria and Nigerians in the diaspora secure uh, genuine property in the Lekki Aja Axis, all right? Without much to say, let us dive straight into the topic of the day freehold land for sale in ekpe how safe is it can i buy into a freehold land for sale in the ekpe axis now recently a lot of real estate developing companies have moved into the axis of ekpe you hear a lot of companies selling land you know buy six get one free uh buy this and that you know and some of them write you see titles like uh, freehold or c of o in views why some companies just write them plainly the way it is title freehold all right and most of those land you see them something like six hundred thousand. some are going up to 1.5 million 1 million and, and stuff like that now by way of definition if you watch our previous video i have discussed that all land originally belongs to the government according to our land use act of 1978 all right it allocated all land in the urban areas please underline this in the urban areas to the state government if you follow this definition there is a cavat that applies to ekpe so right now ekpe is still being seen in the eyes of the government as a rural area okay so that's why you see the the, the, the freehold title that's where most of the land in ekpe you see them freehold title but let me make it clear that it is not all land in ekpe that have freehold title that's why you need to do your background check very well okay like i said before there are some of the land government have indicated so much interest in ekpe that they have a lot of things that they are going to do there in the ekpe axis so not all land in ekpe have free food there are two kind of uh, acquisition there's the global acquisition and they are committed land okay so when the land is under the global acquisition these are the kind of land that you see excision uh you can apply for excision let me make it clear that you can apply for excision and deny it of that excision all right so it's always a 50 50 things i try as much as i can not to sell properties that have excision in view or excision in process as a title okay because i am i have come to realize over years of experience that some of these applied excision are also rejected okay so you need to know this now back to uh our topic freehold title in ekpe now by way of this definition all land belongs to the government when i mean government i'm talking about the the state government according to our land use act of 1978 all land belongs to the state government now but there's a cavat on that it means that all land in the urban areas belongs to the state government all right in each of the state except some of the portion of land that belongs to the federal government of course in each of the 36 state of the federation the federal government have indicated interest in some of those land okay but for the state government it applies to the urban area so there's a cavat there which means that the federal government or the government then realized that there were some of these uh farmers that needed land especially in the rural areas hence they released some of those land in the rural areas for agricultural purposes so by this definition currently the government is still seeing a pair as a rural area all right now let me make it clear that it is not all land in a pair that has freehold title a lot of company where you see from their flyers you see freehold title c of o in view please like i always tell my client make sure that you find out very well okay we've been 
you can find out from your surveyor if that land actually has a freehold like i said before a freehold is not actually a title it is just the status of a land like saying the land is under acquisition or committed i hope you know that if you don't know i did a video recently on that you can check uh, our youtube page if you don't know the difference between a committed and uh, a, an, a global acquisition land so but let me just throw more like the global acquisition is where you can apply for a session and uh, you can get your session but it's not always a hundred percent it's always a 50 50 thing all right so when i just started this business we we're meant to realize that no the land has a session in process we just apply for it and uh, we are in it and so once you you buy a freehold land now what i always advise my client is proceed immediately to perfect your title okay don't relax on it because ideally the classification of that land as a freehold title in ekpe actually applies to the indigene the families the ballets and uh, the loribi okay but because a lot of strangers and a lot of real estate companies are moving towards that direction that classification like i said before will soon change and it will no longer apply because the will gradually move from a rural area to an urban area which means that that classification will no longer apply but once you are able to perfect your title before that classification change then your land will be safe okay so right now it is safe for you to buy a freehold title land in Ekpe. But once you buy them, please immediately proceed to perfect your title so that your land can be saved in the future. All right. In that video, somebody was trying to comment that it means anybody can just come, since the land has free or free or freehold as a title, means anybody can just come and perfect the title. Actually, it's not anybody that will come and perfect the title. If you have watched my previous video, I've made it explicitly clear that it is not a CFO that actually proves ownership of land. Remember that that CFO is not in your name. Okay, so I'm not saying CFO is not good. Of course, it's one of the best titles you can ever have here in Lagos. Okay, but what I'm saying is that CFO, the CFO usually is not in your name. Once you purchase a land, that CFO is not in your name. What you can do is then to proceed to perfect the title in your name, which is usually a governor's concern. All right. So what proves ownership of land in this instance is deed of assignment that's why i keep saying and hammering that the importance of a deed of assignment cannot be overemphasized. so deed of assignment simply means that uh so so and so families or so so and so person used to have this land before but have transferred the right of this land to mr mr b all right that is what it means when you have a deed of assignment so once you have your deed of assignment you can then proceed to perfect your title to a c of o keep in mind also that a C of O is not transferable, all right? So if your property has a C of O as a title, you cannot transfer a C of O. I hope you are also aware that C of O lasts for just 99 years. So you can't transfer a C of O. That is not what proves ownership of land. If you purchase a land with a C of O, what you are going to do for that land to be recognized in your name, you are going to proceed to have a governor's consent. I don't want to dive deep into that, okay? So when you have a freehold as a title, it is not anybody that can just come and claim ownership it is only the people that have deed of assignment with the, either the family or the real estate company that you purchase from okay so that land is safe and genuine for those that are buying in the hands of these real estate developers you know the reason why i don't advise that you buy you uh, anyone you see you just buy is because most of these developers after purchasing this land from the communities from the families they do not proceed to perfect their title they relax on it because the fact is that on average, most of the land you see in Equias is now uh, ranges from uh, you see land like 800,000, 1 million naira, 1.5 or 2 million naira. Any land that you see selling for about, we have land in Equias that are selling for over 60 million, 20 something million, all right? Uh, these ones definitely are purchased by the, big, the, by the big real estate companies and they have perfected their title. So the fact remains that once this land title is being perfected, those developers will no longer sell those land for one million two million that you are they are currently selling that's why uh most of them don't proceed to perfect their title the reason is because perfection of title is actually very expensive and once these titles are perfected they are still going to come back to you to tell you that the perfection of the title has been done and uh the the price definitely they are, you have to pay for some of this uh perfection of title because you know it costs a lot of money to perfect your title what i'm saying in essence is that buy from companies that you are that guarantees that they are going to perfect their title except you are going to perfect that your title by yourself 
okay which i don't advise i just like that since you are buying from uh, an estate let the perfection of the title come from the developers themselves all right in that way it should be relatively a bit cheaper than you processing just one plot or two plot from that estate okay so these are some of the things to consider before you buy so ideally what i am also saying is that try as much as you can to buy from companies that have integrity there are a lot of these big companies there in a pair right now that have moved into a pair and i can tell you for sure that they have integrity and they are doing a lot of great things in that area and a is becoming an urban area gradually like i told you now that you have watched this video i i am convinced that you are fully you fully understand what the free old title is so so that you are you'll be fully informed next time when you are making a decision to buy a free old land in a pair and you know what it applies you also know that once you buy it you should proceed immediately to perfect your title all right so make sure you don't castigate me next time when i post a video on a free hotel i'm not trying to change the personality i am i'm not trying to market property that do not have titles to you i know exactly what i am doing all right so if you are new in this channel please subscribe because we are committed to bringing your way a lot of educative content in the real estate sector we have, we have been discussing joint ventures agricultural lands you know we have been discussing a bedjuleki in detail so you fully understand even if they are, they are demolition we have been bringing your way if you scroll down our channel you will watch a lot of these videos and including launch of new estate and so that you'll be fully informed the next time you are making property decision here in lagos i remain your best real estate consultant here in lekki lagos benjamin ali and my job is to keep you informed so that you'll be fully aware of the decisions you are making before you commit that your heart and money into the lagos real estate market thank you once again please share this video and stay tuned to this channel thank you and god bless thank you